So, for the Pico and MU that's on the uh, Voron V0, it's currently having a problem that the camshaft is moving up rather than pushing the camshafts, pushing the cams down. So, I reprinted the two side plates so that I can reinstall the heat inserts that go up here. Because my assumption, or what it looks like from to me, is that on which side? I think it's this side. The heat insert is spinning in place rather than actually holding the plastic. So I'm gonna quickly put the new heat inserts in these two pieces. Then I gotta grab the pico, bring it over here, and start that part. I'm also taking the opportunity to change the servo mount that I have. Uh, I've been working on a slightly newer design and I wanted to try it. Uh, I don't actually know if it's going to be able to stand up by itself, but we'll see how it goes. And I also decided to add some little text because I thought it'd come out nice. There we go. I don't know if which way I need to go to focus this. Oh, there we go. Very nice. So, let's get the heated inserts in. So this is the, the problem that I was having with this. Come on, where's the camera? Where are we? There you go. This heated insert is falling out and doesn't want to stay in. And because it's falling out, it doesn't allow me to put pressure on the camshaft. So I gotta replace it.
So I just uh, stopped recording, and then I went to push the servo into the extended position. And of course the belt popped out, so... That's great. Great, 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 great. So I took some time to print a new mount for the V0. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. It just slots in from the top. Uh, I did make some fixes and I posted this one on printables. If you guys want to try it out. Uh, it does purposefully slant the Pico up slightly because I've always had a problem with that and the PTFE tubes going up and feeding the print head properly. So hopefully this works out better and solves all those problems. I also adjusted the length of all the PTFE tubes and I've I was just print I printed this yesterday. I'm going to do some ABS printing soon, but first I wanted to do some speed testing now that I've rebuilt everything cuz I also took some time to check my uh gantry alignment was all set correctly. So, my input shaper is actually looking a lot better now. And I'm using, um, I think it's Elias's speed tuning guide to see what my maximum acceleration can be. So let's see how that goes. We're going to switch over to the computer for that though. So see you there. The speed testing is going to be in the next video rather than this one. I want to try and make my videos a little bit shorter so that they're more digestible. Let me know what you think of this change in the comments.